Now we come to the part where we're going to fill up our refillable cartridges. We're going to put the refillable cartridges into the printer and we make reference to the, to the indicator, the actual printer indicator. Now in our kit we've got these little syringes which are very convenient. We've taken off we've taken off the little transport bung there so we've got a bit of breather going on and we're going to tip the we're going to tip the cartridge on its front like so we take off the little the little bung there's our cyan our Lyson R38 pigment ink fabulous ink this incidentally we've had so many testimonials from people recently about you know how happy they are with this level of uh, this particular ink set it's a, it's you're using professional pigment ink here and you're able to let's see, let's see how we just gently let's just turn it round where we can see that's better you can actually see the ink going down there's no hurry with this we do it nice and nice and gently okay and you can see the ink start to start to come at the bottom there I'm only going to put a little bit of ink in this you know ge generally about about 60 mil is all, is all that's needed so we just it's another lot there there we go lot. the purpose of the demonstration we, we don't want we don't want to be looking at hours and hours of pouring ink but we'll we do enough so that we can we can give you an impression of what's going on so you fill this cartridge up and I would say you fill the cartridge up until the level goes to about here which it which approximates to, to, to 60 ml of, of ink and you'll be able to see it let's just get all that happens to be in this little bottle of ink here we're, we're taking this video at the um, in the laboratory at uh, Lyson in Manchester so um, we're lucky to have all the facilities you could possibly imagine here this is a quite a quite a quite a setup I think that's all we got in this particular bottle for the sake of the for the sake of the uh, of the demonstration just so you can see just so you can see the ink starting to go in there we go, nice and steady. There we go. Alright. That'll do us, because we want to get on to the next bit. Now do clean out your syringe and your needle with fresh water and you just you, you wash it out until it runs clear. Now we put the tab back on the we put the tab back on the on the cartridge, nice and clean. Uh, now we're going to take this, remember we've put the chip in already, so the chip's in, uh, the ink is in, and all we've got to do now is we've already taken out the brand cartridge, and we're putting in now the, the license cartridge. Now these cartridges are really good, we've, we've been testing these for months and months and months. They're very, very reliable, and they fit exactly into the into the carriage so we put all of these all of these in and we can actually run this printer with the lid down so we push them all in and where we go over the side here now we can actually see a little indication on the top it's saying please wait it's telling me that it's got photo black uh, currently in circuit but it's telling me that all of the all of the cartridges are full up now the status of these cartridges with these with these chips is that the is that the uh, um, the indication is permanently on. It always stays on. So what you need to do is when you're running the printer, uh, I would say certainly every three or four days when you're running the printer regularly, what you need to do you need to press this little button up the top here, which is the lid open button. So that's one, two, three seconds, and what that does, that opens up the that opens up the lid. He says, "Let's do it again." One, two, three. 
There we are. We've done it correctly now. So we've so we, we, we press that button for three long seconds and what you need to do every so often you do need to manually check your levels. Now it's quite simple to see your levels because these these cartridges are, are, are translucent but to be absolutely certain you can always just unclick them or just unclick them and check the levels. Now let's come up nice and close so you can see that. So there's your there's your level your, your yellow and we're fine. I would recommend that you 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 entertain the idea of 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 topping up your inks when the level goes down to about there. So you've got about that much ink. So we've still got a fair bit of printing to go. But it's definitely not a good idea just to 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 fill up your printer uh, and uh, and just print and print and print. There's there's the level there. You've got plenty of ink in that one. Let's get one where you can actually see it a bit easier. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the magenta. There we are. So you can clearly see the level. You've got plenty of ink here, but definitely uh, do make a, a regular habit of checking your levels of ink because it's definitely not a good idea to just run and run the printer until these have gone uh, empty. That's not a good idea to do. Remember that your uh, your uh, uh, your indicator at the top here um, indicates a, a full a full level uh, at all times. So you do need to check your your levels ma manually. Uh, when you you put them in and everything's ready to go, you get uh, you do a, a, a nozzle check, and then you can start to print. As in all cases of refill cartridges, we advise you to. Put your refill cartridges in, and if you've just freshly re, uh, if you've just freshly refilled your cartridge, it's not a bad idea to let the ink settle for about 10 minutes at least, so that all the little bubbles that you might have generated inside the ink have got a chance to to uh, subside. Uh, but once you've got a perfect nozzle check, you'll be printing at a fraction of the cost of the brand inks. And of course, the actual quality that you'll be getting is is fabulous, fabulous black and white quality, extremely good colour quality. Uh, we have many many testimonials to 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 to, uh, to show that uh, our our actual print quality is is right up there uh, amongst the the uh, 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 true uh, professional photographic standard. Now, if you've got any queries or, or anything about this video, if you'd like to contact Lyson, their their website actually is uh, is is uh, is uh, uh, where are we now? Is uh, Lyson.com, and they're 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 owned by this company called Nasdar, and their website is of course Nasdar.com. So, if you have any queries about this uh, about this particular uh, series. You can you can email us uh, to uh, sales at license.com and we can answer all of your queries. Thanks very much for watching.